Mali Tribune. At the outset, uh, please allow me to apologize to uh, uh, regular followers uh, because uh, the content on Kali Tribune has been rather scarce or more scarce than usual in the last, I would say, month or two. Uh, there are a few reasons for that, some of them being obviously the workload in, uh, in money-making life. Uh, the other had been the necessity of, uh, let's say, a rejuvenating one's knowledge or trying to uh, go deeper into some subjects we already covered but not going deeper in the sense uh, to talk or write about it but to try to shut up and learn more this is uh, the main reason and i do apologize for that because some of you uh, do support me even with the donations you support me with your interest you support me with your comments support us that is uh, and I owe, uh, we owe, but most of all, all I owe, uh, let's say, more uh, regular content. And this will be so, I hope, in the, in very near future. But for now, if I would push too hard uh, to bring up new things, the quality would not be good. And it's better to have nothing than to have something of uh, explicitly or... Uh, um, unequivocally bad quality. This means that <laughs> the other things I put up don't have to be uh, very, very quality things. Now, uh, the the co subject we'll cover today is, of course, the subject we covered many times before, but uh, this is uh, something that is very special and dear to my heart and I have to share it. Uh, with the audience, it's a Croatian thing, and we'll talk about Croatia, we talk about homosexuals, <laughs> and the way uh, the inverted politics of inverting and dissolving uh, gender and sex has been countered by Croatian people. Now, I would recommend... Uh, that you uh, type in Google Outrage Croatia or uh, to go to Twitter if you have a Twitter account and put a hashtag Croatia or even better hashtag Imotski now that's I-M-O-T-S-K-I Imotski that's the name of, of a small town in Croatia uh, to wit what happened in Imotski <laughs> last Sunday was that on traditional carnival that is going on uh, for now 100 and I think 50 years in Imotski, uh, there was an excess uh, of uh, <laughs> obviously global proportions because I'm giving you these hashtags uh, because you'll see that this little city uh, in the hinterlands of Dalmatia, southern Croatia, uh, is all over the news and it's unfortunately losing, uh, losing in struggle against coronavirus for public attention worldwide and public de delicious public outrage, especially on behalf of so-called gay community and other versions of uh, uh, these strange postmodern communities. Now, what happened is that uh, traditionally on this carnival uh, there is a burning of effigy. People go masked, uh, in, you know, wearing masks. Uh, everything is a joke. Uh, you know how the carnivals go. Uh, and Imotski and Dalmatia, Dalmatia hinterland uh, is uh, famous for one thing: for very, very uh, acidic. This is, I think, best word, humor. Very cruel sense of humor, but also very to the point. When they, uh, when you live in Imotski or around Imotski, and when you get a nickname, when they give you a nickname, well, you are in trouble. Because <laughs> they always pick your worst feature. If you are a bad man, especially, they kind of have this natural talent to single out this one defining ugly creature, uh, feature, character feature everybody has, 
and then <laughs> then nickname you, Christianize you <laughs> with it. And what I did pulled off this time uh, was that uh, they burned in effigy. They, they always burn somebody in power or somebody who is funny to them. Uh, there was burning of prime minister a few years ago, burning of, I don't know, president, burning of this, burning of that. This time around, they burned an effigy of the gay pair. And uh, the gay, gay pair was uh, modeled as one body with two heads kissing each other and holding supposedly a child as media in, misinformed that they were uh, they were not holding a child by the little but the little effigy of one Croatian one I would take liberty to say really disgusting uh, uh, old left Croatian politician uh, that that came up with some statements in in the parliament that were really obnoxious so uh, they take a litany, a humorous litany, which is very hard to translate, it's in rhyme about this, what this effigy represents, then we burn it and <laughs> send it up in the heavens and smoke. Now, reason why this was done, of course, uh, a global reason is that we are suffering, uh, we have been terrorized by uh, these groups groups as LGBTX whatever and those who support them and everybody in power uh, throughout Western Europe at least passively supports them all media uh, corporate sector you name it and in Croatia of course uh, this process of uh, normalizing uh, first homosexuality and then as I see happened in England and elsewhere transsexuality and in in a word the dissolution of uh, well let's say tradition but I would say dissolution and abolition of human beings uh, now everybody who is not new to Kali Tribune can refer to my previous work so I don't have to repeat myself ad nauseum I tend to do that sometimes and it's not good uh, what is a peculiarity of Croatia and not only of Croatia of Eastern Europe Balkans and even this Central Europe that was under communism is that these uh, processes are not going unopposed uh, people are opposing them and people are uh, fighting back even in, in Croatia even in organized uh, fashion but this was not uh, this what happened in Imotski and caused such an outrage uh, throughout the world uh, was not uh, really organized by some uh, famous organization. That, that was, there were just the local people who who decided to do it. Uh, one of one of the guys that uh, that really wasn't an organizer, but just gave a statement to uh, to media after the event, uh, was uh, charged uh, by. Uh, by Croatian authorities for hate speech and so on and now we'll see what will be what will come of that and of course country was divided in support or outrage over this and uh, this is the uh, this outrage is something I want to talk about now I'm not doing this only because I like to uh, boast uh, <laughs> and I am boasting with Croats uh, uh, that is to say my homies pulling something like this off but I want to make a point uh, that is theoretical uh, about something that is be beyond that is in the essence of this uh, because we always have the essence and the activity of that essence and we deal with activities but it takes an effort to come to the essence to follow the activity to whence it comes from now what fascinated me in some comments on this what two things first thing uh, was amount of hatred that is uh, spewed online but not only even in by croats uh, these progressive Cro <laughs> croats <laughs> or that consider themselves progressive although i don't think in, in, in uh, this is one of those country where you are uh, even progressives are not progressives they just think they are uh, uh, this uh, outrage 
over something that would be understood as a joke, even maybe as a, a tasteless joke uh, 10 years ago. Here, of course, if you did pull something like this off in Sweden 10 years ago, it would be the same as you pulled it off now. But in Croatia, no. In Croatia, these things are lagging. This politics of the solution has impediment. Uh, and one of the impediments is simply inertia of politicians and bureaucrats to implement it and media. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, and uh, what fascinates me is this ability of people to brainwash themselves. Or better to say, let us use uh, analogy to virus. They seem to get infected by mental virus. And they forget that if uh, ridiculing the gay couple... By the way, uh, the thing is, uh, this, is uh, this was done because there is homosexual couple who wanted to adopt the child. And uh, just a few months ago, there was a campaign. Uh, Croatian law does not allow for this. That is to say, it's a really complicated story because we had a referendum that was poised to enter uh, the definition of marriage as a marriage between men and wo women and so on. And that was successful. But of course, poli politicians, uh, let's say elites, uh, muddle the waters anyway there is no provision of in law that can grant them something like that and then constitutional uh, judges or guys uh, entrusted to 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 uh, uh, that employ the judges of supreme court it's called constitutional court in croatia uh allowed this to happen while saying that uh, law has discriminatory character and instead of change, trying to change the law, uh, that is to say put the law in parliament, they nevertheless said, okay, we'll make a decision that, that, that <coughs> we won't discriminate. And a law discriminates by virtue of not mentioning the possibility of same-sex couple uh, 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 adopting children. Now, I'm just saying this to, to keep it accurate to what, what happened. Uh, and it's uh, anybody in the know knows that this is the standard procedure where people are pushing against this and then uh, to <coughs> keep some semblance of democracy, uh, people in the, in the exec mostly executive branch of government just do work against against uh, majority vote and pull this off you cannot stop it uh, in a sense that uh, if you are a member of european union <clears throat> or if you don't have political parties that are really against this you cannot stop this uh, they will try always try to pull it off because this is more important than anything i always ridicule and now we are getting back to the subject of this self brainwashing there are different and in, being infected by mental virus there are different kinds of reactions to this one kind of reaction that i find extremely boring and stupid is a, a reaction of people who feel there is something wrong with this but then say we have more serious problems this is something to uh divert us from serious things no we don't have more serious problems if you have a politics which is poised to dissolve the primary duality in human being duality of male and female and this is what it ends up with just look at england and these transsexuals what they are doing with revolution eating its young they are coming into conflict with uh, with feminists and so on these are the most serious things. If they weren't most serious, that there wouldn't be a global outrage, wouldn't there? <clears throat> so these are extremely serious things and uh, had to be have to be opposed at every opportunity in a most most radical fashion. Most radical fashion because the fuel that uh, uh, that gives space. To this uh, dissolution, this politics of dissolution is indifference. You must not be indifferent. And everything that awakes, shakes people up from their indifference uh, ends up being a good thing. And this is a good thing because <clears throat> uh, Croatia reaction uh, in the world was that 
<laughs> homosexuals worldwide are advised not to visit this particular region of Croatia because it is obviously not, as they say, gay-friendly. Uh, don't think that this will uh, this will harm us uh, <clears throat> in any sense because I think there are many people in the West who like to run away for a few weeks from the rainbow flags so that's that's it really not problem the the worst thing here is uh, to let oneself be be shamed by those who don't know what uh, shame is and uh, this is uh, (coughs) one reaction the other reaction (coughs) which is less irritating as it is disgusting but it is more interesting is a complete fanatical support for things like uh, homosexuals adopting children, I know for those in the West that I'm telling them, telling you about something you went through maybe 20 years ago. Here, this is still a new thing, and we have advantage from uh, learning from your mistakes. The thing is that some people don't see this. For instance, uh, somebody who is outraged that uh, that one could think that adopting, letting gay, uh, homosexuals adopt children will lead to homosexual marriages and then to these transsexual monstrosities where uh, women are not allowed to have women, uh, female uh, restrooms. Those people who don't see it are intentionally blinded. They, they blind themselves because uh, with with internet, with great ability to travel and work uh, around the world, especially around Europe, you cannot not, but not see this. This is obvious. But they live as if they are uh, in some kind of isolation. And this is this, of course, echo chamber, what we call on internet. What I want to point out that this kind of delusion this kind of not seeing the obvious is contagious and it changes people in an incredible way in a very short uh, span of time. And I think that's a new phenomenon. That's something I don't uh, rightly understand. I spoke and wrote a lot about political correctness uh, and... uh, (sighs) To this day, I'm not sure what is it really. Because all my attempts to explain it are not really satisfactory. It is moral nominalism. I think we can define it as such. So it is a kind of magical language game where you make what you imagine to be real, you make it real because it is uh, you enshrine it legally in language. It has to have this legal enforcement. So... You want to uh, men to be able to choose to be women. You change legally change the pronouns. <clears throat> this is one aspect of it. But the other aspect: why people accept this crap, this lunacy, is still beyond me. There is one psychological thing: uh, people who outrage at. Uh, These people from Imotsky, Croatia, making fun of two narcissists who want to have a right to a child, which nobody can have, in fact. Uh, The people outraged at this don't want to be good, morally good. They want to feel morally good. Between feeling good and being good, there lies a lifetime, as Lou Reed would say, uh, because uh, m- political correctness is a, is about receiving emotional gratification, sentimental gratification. That's even worse than emotional. Sentimental gratification of seeing oneself as good, whereas not having to pay the price for being good. Because paying the price for being good is paying the price, among other things, of telling the truth. And to say that uh, women, uh, men can be a mother to a child is a lie. To say that men cannot be a mother to a child is truth. And the one who says the, this other thing, he's, the, uh, he's done a good thing, good deed 
but he won't feel good. Not even because he will be attacked or she would be attacked, but because he or she will have doubts. Because when you have, when you type in Google, Outrage Croatia, for free, you'll see, you who are listening to this, just as I put it on the internet, because things will change. You'll see free pages of Google only about this little city and stunt we pulled off. And it's not easy to, 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 to be called mob, because I know people here. There, there, there is no mob there. There was no mob there. I know, few, I know names and surnames. We are no mob. Uh, the one of the people who was uh, who was uh, uh, singled out by media, uh, who was attacked uh, in, in most wild ways, and so on. Uh, this is not easy to endure, but it is endurable because it is for a good cause. Yeah, only you are not feeling good about it. Political correct, uh, uh, how would they, we call them? Bots. Because this is what they are. They are just doing things for feeling good. Whereas thinking they are good. Because you'll know that you speak the truth. Because in the moment when you feel heaviness of it. Uh, the gravitas and the seriousness and the pain it brings for, uh, with it. There is no truth and no goodness for human limited human beings. Sinful and bad human beings with that spark of good in them. And this is not it. Anyways, <laughs> I'm, I'm stunned. And uh, <laughs> if I may uh, briefly express my feelings, I'm stunned again and again after years of looking at it with political correctness. And to be honest, I can't give you a definite answer. But I can, I can tell you that there is something like a virus in it. Maybe the memes do it. Maybe... I don't know, maybe it's some kind of degenerative process of human brains that people can go crazy overnight and blind to rationality, elementary rationality, in such a fanatical way and correspondingly to be so filled with hatred and to think, for instance, that slogan love has won over... Uh, I don't know, trans child being used to, to, to dance in the gay club, homosexual fag club, why, why, use, why use polite words? I think this is brainwashing, but an uh, interesting thing is that people brainwash themselves. It's kind of like you are your own prison warden, interior prison warden. And this is downright fascinating. It's global. You don't need... <laughs> uh, a lot of people don't need anybody to put them in political line as is uh, required, but they put themselves in the line. I remember communism. I was very young. I grew up in the communism. It was not like that. It was not even close. This is far worse and this is global. This is England, Ireland... Uh, Germany, Benelux uh, countries, Scandinavian countries. If anybody from these countries is listening to this, you are your freedom, not freedom of speech, freedom of act of thinking. This is elementary freedom you have in yourself. Has been taken away from you. That is to say you yourselves take it away from you. I mean, I'm not tell uh, telling you who listen, but th these are persons are doing this to themselves. And I find it utterly fascinating. And also, which is even more important, I find it unforgivable. And to conclude, nobody uh, in Croatia who had anything to do with this stunt will ever apologize. Thank you for your attention. This was Branko Malic with a little public boast. Uh, uh, hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>